What up, everybody? It's your boy Sean here. We're on braces tonight. We got a couple braces to make. Um, up first, we got Antoine out of California, man. He is already a member of the Burr Army, man. He's rising through those ranks very fast. All right, he asked for for his third order. He wanted reflective black, all right, original and glow paracord. All right, crazy because I I don't make a lot of the glow paracord. I think I over time I probably made probably like ten. Uh, since I had his cord and it's fire like I don't know maybe it just I got I, I should showcase it more I really should for the simple fact that it's a good color and it's I mean it's glowing dark you know you can't go wrong with glowing dark so he wanted brass 40 on both of them so of course man we're gonna make that happen man so uh Antoine we appreciate you still been a pair still been a pair <laughs> been a part I mean what hey it's, it's midnight man it's a little bit after midnight over here I can tell you right now so um Appreciate you joining the Bar Army. You know, way back when, still supporting, still around. You know, we appreciate you supporting that Second Amendment throughout uh, the entirety of your enlistment here in the Bar Army. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, we're gonna make you, we're gonna knock this out for you tonight. May take pride in everything we do here, or everything I do here. I keep saying we, like it's more than one person. <laughs> it's just me. But yeah, man, today's been. Wild, or I should say yesterday, because today is a brand new day, but first day back at work after a two week vacation, man. That is one of the hardest. Look, I'm already discombobulated. That's a hard thing to do, man. To go back to work after being off for so long. I'm like, man, like I was crunch timing. Like, you ever like just feel like you, you haven't been really accomplishing nothing while you've been like off on the vacation? So, Monday, Michael say Monday, Monday quarterbacking, but like 40th hour when it's all said and done, where you gotta lay down because you gotta get some rest for work the next day. But you like, I gotta do a lot more stuff. So, I mean, I was playing Powerball. I was looking into crypto. I was doing anything I could so I didn't have to come back to work. You know what I mean? Just like I needed overnight, overnight success of being a multi-millionaire or just being rich, you know, however possible. Just so I could just not, have to go back, punch that clock, and be like, man, I could just, life is so much easier or funner, better when you're doing what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? So, um, in any case, I'm going to get together and go, I'm going to do it all at once so I can burn it. Like, I'm so, like, I got to get back into the swing and stuff, man. Like, I'm I'm out of it, you know? So, as everybody knows, or if you didn't know, I work at the post office. You know, I've been there for almost, what, this year will be my seventh year. So, I mean, it's cool. <laughs> it's good. I'm a carrier. Um, I don't be doing that for real, man. But just walk around, listen to podcasts. You tell I me mean, the job is not tough. Like that's why we try to tell people. Like we try to get people in the door. Like, hey man, come apply to the post office. No, it's cool. I mean, it is what it is. Yeah, you work for the government and all that. But still, the principle like pays to pay is fine. Like I ain't had an issue. My bill is paid, and you know you get a little extra when you know so you do everything properly. You know you know you're never gonna fall. That's how much I don't have. I don't use this cord a lot. I can't even find. Cause I don't want to like, here it is. This little, this little tab. Cause I didn't want to have to. <clears throat> now pull it. Paracord's so easy we just get the middle of it. You know what I mean, but now I want to take precious, precious time with this because it is still white. And you know, dealing with anything white, it can be dirty very easy. So you know, always make sure your hand is washed. You know, take proper precaution for all this and just, you know, make sure the bracelet comes out very snazzy. You know what I'm talking about, but. But yeah, man, so back to work. Like, uh, yeah. <laughs> but anyways, man, I know what I did get into on this vacation that I'm super excited about and I meant to do it. Like I got, I got home and I went right to sleep. So I didn't get to do anything I planned on doing, but I think what I'm gonna do over the next coming days, if not probably this Friday, cause Friday's my off day. And I'm not on the overtime list at work right now because I didn't want to have to get caught up on all those hours for being off and let them max me out and give me like four hours extra every single day. I wouldn't, I don't do that. Nah. So I just get off the list and I get back on in April 1st when the quarter starts. But I noticed that I'm really going to get into sim racing, man. Like I'm, I'm going to buy at racing. Uh, I would have had it today, let it download it and get everything. I, mean, I already got my cockpit and everything like that, but I think it's time, man. I really want to race properly and not have to worry about, you know, rammers and like 
punters, stuff like that that I do, like in Gran Turismo. Because this whole time on vacation, like racing in Gran Turismo in those daily lobbies, dude, it was it was pain, man. Like everybody just wants to rub you uh, door to door, push you off the road. They just don't race clean. And I like racing clean, so it like ruins the experience that I had. But so I'm like, you know what? And there's no way to really like hold those people accountable who do that. You know, I'm, I'm like, man, take it to Forza. <laughs> That's the Forza lobbies, man. We always want, you know, come in hot and dive bomb people in the first turn. And, you know, just because somebody's running side by side with you, you want to keep like bumping into them so you push them off the track and they spin out or whatever. I'm like, come on, just, just race, race regular. You know, have a little tact about yourself, a little dignity. You know, and if you're better, if you're faster than me, you're faster, great. But you ain't got to, you know, play dirty. So, and since Gran Turismo, there's no way to really like hold these people accountable who race like that and the penalty system is like <laughs> whacked out i'm like i'm gonna go to a place that you can't hold people accountable which is our racing you know you got the whole system over band system to protest to show people with the replays and emailed it to them and they make the final decision if it was a clean move or not and if it was super you know uh dirty and not accidental and intentional ban them <laughs> i mean get them out so a lot of feel me personally from what i heard about others a lot of people in our race and take it way more seriously just because you know you are paying for that subscription to race uh, a lot of people don't like it just because it is subscription based and you got paid for like cars and tracks and stuff like that but i'm at the point now i got enough subscriptions as it is anyways you know what i'm saying i got all kind of netflix's and hulu's and stuff that come out and like ea play and stuff so like what's another one for this one plus i just stopped my um i just stopped my subscription to stream labs i used to stream uh like Restream. I only got Streamlabs Ultra just so I can like stream on YouTube and Twitch and TikTok all at the same time. And I slowly like got out of like the game streaming stuff because it's like I'm happy. I'm, I thought I thought I wanted to be a game streamer. You know what I'm saying? Like that kind of content creator. But I noticed that, and from listening to people who actually do it, it will ruin games for you when you're doing it as a job. Now you know, forget the donations, all that kind of stuff. It's gonna ruin the game because now you're doing it not to have fun and as a hobby in your spare time you're doing trying to make money from it and now you price you know um back into a wall just playing one certain game because what people know you from so even if you want to branch out and you start your account on call of duty everybody knows you for playing call of duty they want to only see you play call of duty so when you try to play like battlefield or rise of the ronin or caliber or hell divers they not gonna stick around it's like we don't care about that we want to see what you play so you're gonna be locked into the box of one game and i'm like uh not really into that and you gotta keep a schedule and be in front of them i play sporadically i might give you three hours five hours i might give you 15 minutes depending on how the day is going <laughs> you know what i'm saying so but i'm just gonna stick with my old hours and i canceled that subscription for that so i ain't gotta worry about paying 20 dollars a month to stream the multiple platform. I mean, I can still stream to Twitch and stuff like that. I just can't like stream all at once on one program. So I'm like, I'm gonna funnel that into air racing. Start that up. Stay in the monster class. You know, stay in the rookies. Work my way out of rookies. You know, and slowly instead of just jumping right into like GT4 racing, uh, GT3. Work my way up. Learn actual driving etiquette, breaking points, bias. I can't wait, dude. I can't wait. So, but Antoine, man, I know I rambled in this video. It's just I got some hype stuff to get off my chest. Antoine, I got both of your dope bracelets, man. Got that glow power cord. I wish I could show it glowing in the dark right now. You know, it's going to be activated. I can see it now if I want to. It's glowing. Activated in the light. When you cut these lights out, man, it's going to light up the room. And then we got that reflective black, you know, even another one, if you take a flash with it, you're gonna see the little silver reflective strips in there. Dope bracelet, you got a nice little combo on this one, man. So hope you enjoy this on his way to y'all all way in Cali from Kentucky, you know what I'm saying? Wear your bracelet pride, I ain't gotta tell you that. It's your third order. You've been a part of the Bear Army, you know how we get down. So I appreciate you coming back, supporting the team, supporting the group, the team, it's just me, but we're all a team. All right, everybody in the Bear Army, we're, we are one, you know what I mean? So yeah, man, if you two would like to join the Bear Army, Links to the, of course, whatever platform you're saying it's on. The link is somewhere in my bio or in the description. All right, bronzebracelets.com. Also, chamber check, the chamber check clothing.com. Adding some more firearm shirts very soon. Um, and if you got something you want me to add, go on, drop me a link or email or comment, whatever you want to see, and I'll do my best to get it incorporated. And we officer the races. So until then, 
See you.